this jockey, and then I chose the business of journalism. Uh, I'm a father, I'm a husband, I'm a grandfather, I'm a pastor. So as we have this conversation, know that people you deal with, um, they're not 24-7 media. I know you knew that. But there are real people who go to Starbucks, folks who go to Bob Evans, the real folk you may see walking in your community. And I think sometimes uh, we get put into this, oh my God, it's the media. Uh, they've got a camera. Are you with the newspaper? No. I'm with Channel 11. Did you see my camera? And oftentimes, I think that it's important that we work together. About that he suggested in a visit. Uh, about what he was doing at Philander Smith. At Philander Smith, he found that the graduation rate of his black male students was in the single digits. Now, that is something that would make most college presidents, most PR people, like, run for cover. He said, yeah, this is a problem, and here's what we're trying to do about it, and he started a bunch of programs, and he doubled the graduation rate. Now, he was able to double the graduation rate in part because it was so low. But he actually moved the needle. And he talked about it. I think that made him look so good. If you ask most reporters, do, do, do they have high graduation rates at historical black colleges? They'll say, no, they have terrible graduation rates. And for some institutions, that's true. Not talking about it doesn't make that problem go away. Mm -hmm. Talking about it makes it look like you're aware of the issue, you know why it's there, and you're trying to. Four of a million people for that night. If they run it again over the weekend, you've got more coverage. And I was laughing with Jared because all this stuff is, I'm learning this new stuff. <laughs> Next generation media, because now, what they've given us is we all got laptops in the field, we all got iPhones, and they say to us, if you see news happening, you take a picture and send it to our web. And it'll be Facebook, and it'll be commented on. And so all of a sudden now, uh, if I go to Morgan State, if I go to a school, I'll bring with me my iPhone. And I'll ask the photographer to take a shot, a little quick 30 second interview with, with your president. And then I'll turn around and email it to the webmaster. He's all excited. Oh, my God. God. <laughs> and, and, and also, don't not return the calls or emails. So here's it. So I'm old enough that I started my journalism career in the phone only days. And so sometimes I knew that I just, I couldn't find a home number, something broke on a weekend, and I would have to say, couldn't be reached for comment. Every one of your presidents has got this on his or her body and probably is checking it 80 million times a day. So if I don't hear back, I'm not gonna say couldn't be reached for comment, I'm gonna say, wouldn't return the call. It is a 24-7 news cycle, period. You must accept that.